Yeah, so okay, there's uh, there's this quest, but it's not unlocked yet. Sixty well maybe tomorrow I'll get to it. Once everything is open. Well let's see this one. This isn't time sensitive, but I'm kinda of curious how Wayne is in this game. So let's check it. I've been delaying too much to get here. So, Sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. If your package contains anything like that, then maybe you should check with Albedo first and see what he thinks. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Timaeus! So gross! What are you two chatting about? Oh, hey, you two. Uh, we're just talking about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Hmm, this sounds familiar, but I don't remember. Huh? A package what from an was? academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. Oh, well, it is a thank you gift. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. I think I've seen Timaeus with some similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've, you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It, it will have them, like Wayne, will have the characters. Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. It's called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! Genius one now? Uh, so this is the game we've been hearing about. Yeah! We've been hearing about this game all over the place, but this is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House and Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story is really good. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been captured mm. inside. It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the casket of tomes. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. Okay, so it's basically your uh, not quite. Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. 
I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. <clears throat> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Oh, right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter! This is from Sumeru, we've been there recently. Shouldn't we start this learning about the game there? If you want to play, then just say it. Then this person you need to play this game. Okay, fine! Paimon's curious and would like to give it a try. Please? Although, it seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, because Timaeus has given up for a while. <laughs> well, research is my priority, you know. But, if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tail. We'll be able to enter there. That's the most place. Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Understood. Traveler, Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Didn't I change the things? Just now I noticed it's still saying... Yeah, I'm just probably saying that I'm playing Zelda. Welcome to the cat's tail. Ah, <laughs> it's the Traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. Oh, and Sucrose the Alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale, no matter how much Mora you offer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Margaret. We're not here for that research project I told you about last time. Well, fur from the cat stays Uh, Sucrose, what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Uh, oh, I just wanted to test out some hypotheses, and I needed some materials. But, uh, we can talk about that later. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius Invocation TCG. Sucrose explains everything. Ah, Genius Invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the Cat's Tail to play, so I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? Hmm, they want me know. Speaking of which, I believe you've already met. Hmm? Met who? You know, Prince. This is the cat's huh. tail after all, so I thought having a cat take care of our new customers would be quite a nice touch. We know him. Yeah. Could you come here before? I know ah, he's here. Allow me to interpret. <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. Oh. 
Hmm, <laughs> my mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. Mm. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing valuable guidance to our new players. Yeah, please. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play, and he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. I am merely Prince's lowly assistant, that's all. That's pretty. Wow! Another guy who can understand animals! How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only Prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to Prince. <coughs> oh, what's that? Shu Yen, in the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make and you shouldn't overreact. Ah, understood. I do apologize. Hmm. <sighs> It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? That's pretty weird. It was the duels of genius invocation TCG that allowed our hearts to bond. It's understandable that ordinary people such as yourselves are unable to comprehend such a thing. So... Playing Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? Hmm, somehow Pylon doubts that. Uh-huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyin. Uh, who will ask Prince? Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Mm -hmm. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself, and I must therefore politely decline. Witches always omit to teach. <clears throat> That's what Prince said. Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty Cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. I will never play another match of my own again. The Prince's balls probably can blow the cards. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Hmm. Mm. <gasps> How about this? Diona! Oh, yeah, she's there. Blah, blah, blah. What is it? I'm pretty busy over here, you know. Huh. Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh. Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Seriously, games and drinks don't mix. Don't they get that? Ugh. What can I say? As the tavern owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Ha! <laughs> yeah, what kind of break is that? I'd rather not. Hm. Oh, why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play Genius Invocation TCG anyway? All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink. <sighs> you know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon Mondstadt's alcohol industry is going to reach new heights. <sighs> Looks like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of Genius Invocation TCG. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself, a clear mind is necessary to win. 
Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Prince speaks the truth, Diona. Not only is the spread of Genius Invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. C could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. Shuyin, let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. Well... But Shuyin is destined for a far greater purpose. Shuyin, drink mixing, now. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, all right. We'll need some space to learn. <laughs> Let's go to that empty table over there. I don't be able to play the game after. Diona's waiting for you. Go talk to her, and she'll teach you the rules of the game. That's what Prince said. <sighs> and I need to go start mixing drinks. It's a pity that I can't look on while you learn. <coughs> That's what Prince said. I'm sure to defeat my opponents just like how I chase down prey. I and I will become the best genius vocation this player in no time. Uh, you're interested in game two, but you're not playing yet, are you? Uh, when you become a true TCG player, you might even get a chance to duel me. What is TCG? Have anybody told us yet? Uh, hey there, up for a game card, so I don't think you're an official player yet. We need to be official players. Don't find me once to become an official player, perhaps there will be something I can learn from my prior mistakes. Uh, a new player. Uh, you can ask Shiyu about the rules of the game, but if there's other things you should know, you're always welcome to come and ask. Oh! Illustrations on some of the cards are really pretty, don't you think? I'm trying to collect them all. Beauty is also a form of victory. Do you want to be a TCG player too? If you do, you should have this in mind. It will be I who will become the king of genius vocation TCG. Oh, and there's a second floor. Um, there's nothing. Um, I like this place better than the looks place. It looks more like a coffee shop. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck, so place that on the table. We don't have one. Uh, deck? Uh, yes. You should have built a deck. You know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. Oh, uh, what's with the blank stairs? Come on, don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. You sure do have some cards. That's right. We have some cards that I received from a friend. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need a few more cards than that. Okay, let me think. Shouldn't sure, I have sent? And for a to whole learn the back, game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between. Huh. Oh, oh, that reminds me. A few days ago, when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards on the bar counter. <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now. Okay. Are you sure that's okay? Where do we acquire more? Uh, it's this? already been a few days, and he still hasn't come back to claim them. Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. You know, just in case the customer came looking for them. Yeah, <laughs> not because I like to play the game or anything. <laughs> Please. All right, so now we have two character cards. That's everything we need, right? Yep. So, are you ready to start? I'm ready. All right, then let's begin. <sighs> A 
of hope she tells me what I have to do instead of making me oh, Welcome! Uh, welcome to the world of Genius Invocation TCG! Okay. Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponent. Pew pew pew! Was that laser shots? She Once you've defeated some... all of your opponent's yes. character cards, victory shall be yours! Now then, you're gonna need a character on the field to start with. I have select Tilok. Uh, Tempered Sword, one chill, Serious Onslaught, three, Dawn, four, three. Two, three, four, two. Let's finish this swiftly. First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. Eight dice. Huh. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Okay. Once the roll phase is over, you'll enter the action phase, where the real game starts! During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, hang on, my... My screen covers that part. Okay. No, just a moment. I'm filling my screen here because where I left, leave this window, I can't quite see. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Get repair damage for the turn use for third use it is skill each round use plus two huh, not bad you just made your first attack during the action phase both sides will take turns making their moves after you use a skill to attack your opponent it's their turn to attack! And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again! You have two Omni dice. Okay, now, this works fine. these are Omni element dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. So, we're going to use them to pay for the pyro dice needed for this skill. Go on, give it a try. Ha! <laughs> that was pretty good. That's one opponent down for the count. Bam! But the game has only just begun. Remember? You have to defeat all opponents to win. Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we've run out of usable dice. Huh. In that case, let's end this round. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. Oh. So all the back and forth was. Oh, the first right. Round. Here we are, a fresh new round. Hoo hoo. <laughs> and a fresh new round means time to roll the dice again. 
That's how we're gonna get the elemental energy we need, after all. Ooh, that's some terrible luck. Huh? There's no way we'll be able to use d skill now. But don't worry, situations like these are why we have the option to... Reroll! <laughs> Once per round, you can select all the dice that you don't like and re-roll them. When the action phase well. begins, the player who first chose end round in the previous round takes their turn first. Mm. This means that since you finished first the last round, you'll be the first to start this round. Okay. Alrighty then, let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental bursts. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. Mm. Okay. Once d -Loop's energy is full, he can use a powerful elemental burst. But we're still one short. Never mind. Let's start with a normal attack instead. d -Loop's normal attack only needs one pyro die and two other dice of any type. In any case, your normal attack needs fewer pyro dice than your elemental skill. Now we have three energy plus. We have enough pyro elemental dice left over. It's time to use your powerful elemental burst! It states that burn damage, this character gains burn fusion. Uh, burn fusion characters which this is that she has their physical damage dealt over the two burn damage. Mm. Your verdict is... <laughs> Next battle. In an actual game of Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. <laughs> Next up, it's time for your second character card, Kaya, to take the stage. Oh, it seems like any move by Kaya is going to cost quite a lot of cryo dice. When you deal cryo damage, you'll cause your target to be affected by cryo. Cool it! <laughs> good! Now our opponent is affected by cryo. This is a good time to learn about elemental reactions. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. When a character is affected by certain elemental combos, an elemental reaction will be triggered. At the moment, your opponent is affected by Cryo, so we should try and use a Pyro skill on them. Looks like we have to switch active characters, though. Oh, that reminds me! Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. Normally, we can only use the active character skills. Now, if we want to use the skills of our standby character, we'll have to switch them to the active character. In this case, we'll have to switch to 
Diluc, in order to use his skills. You can spend one elemental die of any mm. kind to switch a standby character to the active character. Let's finish this swiftly. Switching characters is an action just like using a skill. So once it's done, it's your opponent's turn. Most skills can only target the active character. As you can see, your opponent just attacked Diluc. All right then, now that Diluc is our active character, it's time to use his skill. Because the opponent is already affected by Cryo, dealing Pyro damage triggers the Melt Elemental Reaction. When triggered, Melt increases damage dealt by two. This will allow you to deal loads of damage in one go. <laughs> Genius Invocation's Elemental Reaction System is pretty cool, huh? That's... Oh. All right. <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. These cards are all known as action cards. Oh, the show right here. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. Oh. Uh-oh. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. I can just drag. The same. Seriously? We still don't have any usable dice even after that reroll? Well, huh, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and buffs to your active character. Take this one, for example. So playing this action card will require two of these. Uh, see the symbol? Yeah, that means you'll need to play elemental dice of the same type. Some other cards will cost you these instead. The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. Oh, okay. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. For now, just play this action card. Oh, they were selected already. So, playing an action card from your hand is a form of fast action. Fast actions do not end your current turn. Mm, nice. Simply put, you could continue to act even after playing an action card. Well then, <laughs> you have your blade. Time to test it out. But wait, D Luke's elemental skill costs three pyro dice, and right now, we don't even have one. Well, not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic known as elemental tuning. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active character. Mm. And this card isn't useful right now, so we might as well use it for elemental tuning. Which card? No. Why is it in useful? Can I use? Ah, oh, only catalyst characters. Ah, oh, okay. Only both characters. Ah, oh, okay, so I can use that. <coughs> no. You won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. 
Oh well. Moving on. Ingenious invocation, TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. In this case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. Just like playing cards from your hand, elemental tuning is a fast action. Come on, hurry up! Use elemental tuning to get yourself three pyro dice. Well, 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 would you look at that! Finally, we now have enough elemental dice to use Searing Onslaught! Because you have the White Iron Greatsword equipped, Searing Onslaught will deal one extra damage! What? Hmm. I didn't pay attention to the The card. Ha! This was interesting. Now comes Ooh, the final Alice. card! Oh yeah! In a real match, you can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile, and then draw the same number of new cards. What? <laughs> I don't actually know what they do. And face user active character for 2 HP. Okay. And event support card and event card. And then we'll save most one per round. Okay. 39. So nice. Good. Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Mm. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, start by selecting your initial starting character. I can choose now. Okay, I think Kaya because he has... Two this will be interesting. Uh. Hey, hey, look at you. You sure are getting the hang of these rolls. Now let me teach you one last trick. Free of charge. Hmm, she said I'm getting the hang, but this time I wasn't forced. I could just switch the ones that were actually good for me. You can preview your opponent's actions. I mean, that is to say, you can read their intent. Hmm. Check, Check it out. Thing. So here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this round. All your opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here, in order. Isn't that kind of cheating? Reference this to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponents. Well then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be yours! Mm. Yeah, quick chew. Oh, it spins two. I didn't know. Yeah. And this one could be anyone. Okay. What does she do? When a character uses a skill or a, a talent. Ah, oh, spins one less. Equip more than one. Hang on, what does it say here? 
I carry the agreement maximum of one. Okay, so I can equip another one. Okay, so. Yeah, kind of didn't want to spend that. Better save that for two look. But I won't have enough to. Uh, What, what does that do? It made a dice paint. Ah, huh? this just sweeps. Hmm. Okay. Uses a skill or equips a talent. We haven't seen a talent yet, have we? Well, let's put around character. Ah, whatever. Just needs two. Just need three. Three doesn't. Ah, I have to click here. So two for the image. Four for the image. Such characters. Ah, okay. It two damage, but it keeps. Or another three rounds, okay. <coughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's one more thing I almost forgot. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win. Mm -hmm. It looks seems better now. Ah, it stays equipped, I thought it would last only the round. Switch. Let's go. Mm, it ended already. Okay, this wouldn't really be useful. Use a skill or equips a talent, not when it equips an equipment. Equipment. 
those tanks. Those aren't like quick or hard. No matter, it's that already. <laughs> Change location is a tidy pace, heart stopping tabletop card doing game. So let's attack by constructing them around character and action cards. Go to toe to toe, reverse opponents at the table. You're all eight elements of dice each round, after turn is dice. You're just telling me the whole. Oh yeah, I could discard them as well, I forgot about that. Alright, cool! Those are the basics. Did you get all that? Mm -hmm. What we just played was an adventure challenge designed specially for new players. Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player brings three character cards. Or in adventure challenge mode, with a fixed deck for each challenge. Why three? Why not four like our regular parties? But the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy booze hounds. Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. That was quite the detailed explanation. I didn't know the Cat's Tale's famous mixologist had such an eclectic skill set. What? What? Oh, when did you get here? Hmm, in her sudden interaction, but I think she wouldn't like you. I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. No, not at all. You snuck in without making a sound! It's Batman. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? The Cat's Tale is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Hmm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind, it's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Wait, this card? It's Diluc's character card! Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Uh, he wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. He never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch, you say? Yes, guy. She just explicitly said he didn't have one. Gah! I was trying to give the opposite description. But I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, guard captain. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. So, what about the Dilu character card? I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. I didn't expect Dilu to be familiar with Genius Invocation TCG. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then, I'll sit down and play a game with the customers in Angel's Share. You up for a game now? I was hoping we could play a game, but this issue of someone leaving a character card with my image of the cat's tail is... very intriguing. 
It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. We'll have to have that duel another time. Sure, I'll look forward to it. Good. Then I'll take my leave. You know where the door is. Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbado split you. Uh-oh. Guard captain. I hope Kaya will be all right. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, why don't we try playing a game of Genius Invocation TCG? But how do we beat our deck? Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel. <laughs> this sounds like fun. But in order to play an official duel, you need to have three character cards. Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? Okay. Then, let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others I had received. And I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose character cards. Oh, you've had an extra. So why don't we have our first duel? If you say so. All right, let's duel. No, it's not the art. same art. Ooh. What's that? Shift one energy from the most two of your characters on standby to your active character. Hmm. This could be useful, but maybe on longer battles. I don't think I'll, I'll have the opportunity to use that, but okay. And destroy all summons. I put both you and your opponent. What are summons? Support, equipment, event. What are summons? Uh, okay, she uses that. Kai uses that. This will heal when they are off. We haven't seen any summons, so. Uh, 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 yeah, let's switch to two. What's that? What's that? Unlike the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between <coughs> two players. In mm -hmm. a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. Mm -hmm. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, so you'll be unable to view their intent. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Well, not good, but not cheating. <laughs> Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Musa. Okay, what's that? Next time you skill, switch your next character to be the active character. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Um. That's that sure. Ah, two. One animal. That's weaker than them. Because this is two physical, two physical. One animal. Can I click to see? Ah, uh -huh, animal. Use one cry. All opposing characters. Except the target. Hmm, interesting how this rule works here. Three animal, use animal, one large wing. Is this show animal damage? Okay, let, let's see. I, I can do it. Switch, 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 switch. And I also have this spear to throw away. So, there, yeah, okay. Into animal. Now I can equip that to her. What was that again? Switch energy. Yeah. 
Vamos. Brownie two spermatos. I got sperm one here. I got two. One and two. One and two. Forces a change. This will probably mess up with her. Animal test best. 6308. Dodge this. Uh, I have to equip that. Oh, okay, I can equip already on him. Well, since she won't be able to do anything now, let's let's put that to him already. <laughs> and switch. Ready when you are. No, oh, I was going to. Hmm. Hey, that doesn't spend anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just switch to Kai. Next time you perform switch characters, this switch will be considered a fast action instead of a combat action. Hmm. Okay. So that your active character. First, a change them. Well, I want to help. Absorption test. <laughs> My research. Darn, I didn't factor that into the equation. Can use her skill. Hang on, what's that? Event card. Ah, oh, it gains one energy. So, it's from less electro. I won't need this one, but I can keep it there. I'm not needing to switch it right now. Three and plus. Minus. Okay. Already. Okay, so I'm not playing for Kaya to use. 
This will be interesting. I keep forgetting what I do. Brings energy. Gains one energy. Uh, but I will spend two. Uh, only four. Okay, so yeah, just that. Freeze! outside dodge this No, I better save this for a while. There's only one. No, let's save that for Tilok. I'm not done. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Then brought your cards. Hmm. Play more if one of the cards defeated this round. Uh -huh. Choose one summon on the opposing side and destroy. What's a summon? No valid targets. Oh, hang on, I. I can choose. Thank you. 
Where did I go from? I lost when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body... That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. You can easy on me. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Uh, you lost me at alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius and vocation lies. Mm. How do I get new cards now? But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. We could... We could get her card now, instead of already having it. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. I agree, it was a brilliant game. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. I want to know what TCG means. Good! Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the Cat's Tale. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. Genius and Vacation. The card game. Um. I'll definitely be back. And there's maybe Genius of Vocation, the novel that was written. Alright. I think you should have all the basics maybe. down by now. I need to get back to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. Huh. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go bother Sheehan. So, can we play with the others now? Which for sure, you should have this in mind. Be I will become the king. I can play with you guys. Uh. I'm sure you defeat all my opponents, just love how it is not pretty. Okay, simple. I'm not pretty, are you? I am pretty now. I'm not a true player yet. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of genius and... <laughs> That's right! The Travelers, Sucrose, and Paimon are TCG players now! I didn't know who is you play any matches, Paimon. Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. Oh, <sighs> sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. 
there's really a test. What does that entail? Sailing a server true within a deck cart? It's just a tabletop card game. I'm not sure how you would plan on achieving something like that. You could probably figure it out. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. To become official player, you have to play. So, you have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Same way you can hear what Prince says? A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand. The Traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. To win three games to become a player? But... This doesn't make any sense. But first things first, Xu Yen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Ah, oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. Hmm, where have I heard that before? Oh, Tameis mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels oh. he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tomes is actually real? <sighs> well, actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a Casket of Tomes with them. Oh, good. They hit Wi Fi. Oh! Paimon can guess what you're gonna say next! The reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside! No. That would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games? No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. Darn! What a letdown! Oh, a TCG friend finder. Sounds like we need to wait for finding other TCG players. All right, now already all caskets of tomes are issued by margaret so you will need to see her to claim yours probably for the best if prince and i were responsible for handing them out knowing how eager we both are to promote the game we'd probably have dished them all out by now okay so go and see margaret to claim your casket of tomes use it to find another player beat them in a duel and then come back here but even for the Traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the final contestant he must beat in order to become an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Time to go. Oh. Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Ah, I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> A very useful tool indeed. Hmm. That's true, from what I expected. So this is a casket of tomes. That's right. A purpose-built case for your card deck. That can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. 
gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. True. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. Can be bad for business. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case, I'll go find some people to play against, too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. The senior cards. Thanks. I'll do my best. Okay, you can teach your deck using the cast of tomes and also search for characters nearby who possess cast of tomes. Thereby identifying opponents you can challenge. Uh, simply open the deck menu in this case before selecting a deck to edit. Ah, I can have more than one deck. Oh, after searching for locating a challenger, the map will appear. Allow you to mark the rival card players who will but who also possess cask of tomes. You can use this matter to tell who you can challenge to a game of card with ease. When you use your cask of tomes to activate this ability to search for player, the player close to you have you have yet to defeat will be paralyzed. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I can figure it out. Well, that's too much thing. Okay, I only have those. Okay. Oh, I probably don't have a reach. Okay, for now it's probably useless. I I probably have the exact amount. Okay, and it's got chips. It's good for now. Search for players. Hmm. Lucky point. Ah, curse we're fine used by the Genius Vacation Society. Can be used to purchase various items related to Genius Vacation. Ah, that's how I get new cards, I buy them. He said that these coins were initially named as such in the hope that they would bring those carrying them luck. However, perhaps if those who are sufficiently luck are able to possess them. Okay, it's ah, this I can't fix you now. Okay. I thought it would be mostly There's a player nearby. That way, let's go see. Vision. Characters that will have that. It's you. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can assist the two of you with? We want to become official genius invocation TCG players. But we have to pass the test first, so we need to be three players in a duel. Our casket of tomes led us to you! Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. But it's time to do it. Oh, there's three lines in it. When it comes to your attention that a citizen of us that is in need, you must come to their aid promptly and willingly. Are you quoting the Knights of Favonius handbook at me? Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> I've never read so it. So be it. Then let the duel begin. Adventure challenge. Okay. Only line up. Okay. Our all the adventures begin. And then even the greatest adventure must start at the right counter pictures. Uh whatever. Mm 
pick four, this round aims, target normal attack, plus one less. That seems that seems quite good. Another energy and switch characters. That's what Can do it. Uh, I thought it stopped working. Uh, converted elemental dice paints to Omni elements. So this, I basically just switched that. Um, I don't really have anyone that, no, but I don't need that now. Well, energy and switch capture. Next time use this skill. Okay. No, hang on, can I? That's three and two. That's just three. Um... Animal hyperstasis emulation. Switch.
we have time to read. Um, don't, don't, don't. Shift from one artifact moving card that has been equipped to ah, it switched that. Yeah, I'm good. It's that already. Gosh, I lost. You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. Yo, hack. Hear the troops. Let's play again when you have some time. But ideally, not when I'm on duty. You're always here. We did it! Now we have two victories under our belt. Let's get back to the cat's tail. Paimon wonders who Prince is going to pick as our final contestant. I sensed that he had what it took to become an official TCG player, but he has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. Defeat the opponents I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Not just Prince. I can't wait either. Come, your opponent is waiting for you in one of the private rooms. He won't lose to them, whoever it is. Right, Traveler? Naturally. What ho, fellow voyager of the oh. Void. Yes. Even I was briefly discountenanced when I heard the tidings of your sworn oath to become the thrice victorious. But so be it. You who are enslaved by dueling desire, be released from your shackles into the glorious arena of gladiatorial combat. Step forth, O oh brave challenger. Your princessin grants you an audience. Hmm. Harken well. The wretched clock chimes yet again as the declining light of the day grows dimmer still. Pardon my directness, but we have not been waiting that long. Main Fräulein could afford to be a little less impatient. Huh? Paimon knows those voices. Your opponent sounds anxious to begin. Do not delay. That's what Prince said. Please enter and enjoy your genius invocation TCG duel. Paimon knew it! It's Fisher and Oz! Who else but the Princessin? For, as the name of this hallowed rite suggests, only when the wisest of heroes is summoned, can the Master of Cards hope to be crowned the champion? This path is a treacherous one. It must be tread with great caution, for eternal doom and damnation are but one wrong step away at any given moment. That is why none is more suited to appear in this audience chamber than the Princessin, whose Al de Ertelong des Grossen Kaleidophantasmus has witnessed 10,000 battles across 3,000 worlds. Oh, is that right? Indeed. Main Fräulein has watched many games of Genius Invocation TCG and has gained a solid grasp of the rules. Even in a duel between beginners, it is best that both participants are well versed in them. True. Well, between beginners, you say you watch it. Ah, this makes sense now. 
Prince did say that he was gonna pair us with someone of a similar skill level. Guess that means Fischl hasn't been playing that long either. Hmm. The princess needed but a single glance at these mere machinations of mankind to discern their working principles. Thus, with speed and brilliance paralleled by lightning alone, do I now arrive here at the gateway to yonder circle of secrets. Main Fräulein, too, has bested two opponents thus far, and is therefore one step away from becoming an official TCG player. So there's a lot on the line, huh? Either Fischl or the Traveler is gonna come out of this duel as an official TCG player! Indeed. Oh, the princess in herself heeds the call of fate and descends to this realm from the Immanachreich. Yet still, you dare to doubt the inevitability of the inevitable. Your stubborn foolishness is contemptible. Main Fräulein, I implore you to consider less odious turns of phrase, lest you be forced to feast on your words in the fullness of time. I shall not lose, Oz! What say you, Outlander? Do you wish to make an enemy of me, the Princess and of Ertelung, who even now begins to strum the strings of fate that shall sound out the Traveler's Requiem? Barely. It's time to do Then I say it is time to see what you are made of. She has been. <laughs> um, what's that? My from a switch character spend a little less. Animate all dice. Don't I just spend one? I spend two? Oh, how many do I spend when I switch characters? Choose one summon on your side, you manage plus one. I, I don't know what summons are, so let's switch that. <coughs> I can use those too. I can, okay, I can use that to sacrifice. I can use that sacrifice. Um, what's that? Okay, do look. Let's finish this <laughs> swiftly. Uh, whatever. And it's just one. Let's skip that. Wow, that was bad. Should have used that. Damn. Okay, I'm not using Jilok. Done. Oh, this is but a small. 
small sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory. I spent one dice. So that makes... This doesn't seem useful. I spent two dice to use that. Yeah, this doesn't seem useful. Spend that to switch just now. Eh, let's see. I got a burst use. That was worse. Okay, this is just you. <coughs> no, let's see if I'll need that. Um, okay, you're gonna use that on him. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> No, I can't. Insufficient. Didn't I have that thing? That thing isn't here anymore. I think. Ah, once per round. Oh, okay. So... I'll equip that to him. Cannot simply attack the traveler. Okay, but I can just switch now. Can I? Okay, keep that again, attack again. <coughs> well, let's light it up. Die. Okay, to look that. There can be no excuse or defeat. Ah, I choose which one? Uh, okay, she has more things. I <laughs> now see what happens to those who dare defy the princess. In. Ah, oh, has to be the same element. Okay. Absorption test.
Well? Impossible! Oh, the cursed dragon looms near once more, casting its dark shadow on the slender threads of fate, hiding them from my vision. Traveler, was even this part of your plan? What a truly ingenious plot, and what an exciting duel to witness. Congratulations! You've won three duels now. That makes you an official TCG player. Yeah! Oh, Sucrose, you're back! Uh, does that mean... Yep, I've won two games so far. When I got back, I heard you were in the middle of your final duel, so I came over to watch. Nice! Sucrose won two as well! Great work! Hmm. It seems I am forced to admit, fellow voyager of the Stellar Void, that your mastery of the cards is second to none. To commemorate your glorious ascent to a battlefield beyond this lowly mortal realm, I grant thee an incarnation of my majesty in miniature. Mm. As you embark on this ingenious vocation, may you wield it in battle against all your fated foes, that not a single one of them may be left standing. Main Fräulein wishes to give you a Main Fräulein character card. Wow, it's Fischl's character card! Did they not take advantage of the princess's generosity? Tis a mere token of such. To the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. Oh, um, excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner who has won two games so far. Might I also have the honor of joining you in a duel? If you would be willing, of course. Nothing would delight me more. I hereby grant you permission to join me in performing the hallowed rite of genius invocation. One other thing. When I got back, Prince and Shuyun said there was something they needed to give you if you managed to become an official TCG player. Hopefully not another test. Hopefully an instant bitter cap card. No card game in the world has a card like that! Paimon bets it's some kind of prize for making it as an official TCG player! Let's go get our prize! With three electro dice, I summon my eternal familiar, Osvaldo Hrafnavine, to my side! Heed my invocation! But, Main Fräulein, I have been by your side all along. <sighs> I mean in the game, Oz. Hmm. Then, I'll use Chaotic Entropy to invoke a large wind spirit. That deals increased damage when it carries an element other than Animo. So... Oh! So be it! One shall not be swayed by such a feeble attack. If you're so close to playing Genius Book with CCG, maybe it's bad not to interrupt your game. Ah, oh, so it was you who won the duel in the end. I knew you'd do it. Congratulations! You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Members, she didn't play. Very well done. Now I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. The first thing all new official TCG players receive is their TCG Player's Handbook. This handbook tells you exactly what you need to do to become a top-tier TCG player. Make sure you read it. Secondly, a range of Genius Invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the Cat's Tale. <laughs> so you see, becoming an official TCG player is really just the first step. And thirdly, whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the invitation board there. Whoever you wish to duel against, simply invite them to the tavern for a game. Mm, good. Invitation board. Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang of it, you can play with your friends whenever you want. Mm. That's it, really. If there's anything else you didn't quite understand, you can always come and ask me. 
Yes, indeed. I'm quite sure they will. Oh, sorry. I forgot to translate for you. Prince would like to say, Hope you have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. Christmas very Spanish become TCG expert. Visible yet invisible. Uh, find shelters in the open world or enter tavern after reaching player level 2 to play matches against weekly visiting challengers. Uh, and earn player experience. <laughs> Which will increase your play level. As your player level increases, you will unlock new functions and matches. New functions. Upon reaching a certain player level, you can also challenge Prince in Ascension Challenges to further elevate your maximum level capacity. Okay, so this also has a word level. Uh, Genius Invocation is popular for game with players coming from all corners of the world. Face them in matches and overcome them to get player experience and lucky coins. Should you be fortunate, some rivals might even gift you certain cards as, part, as parting gift after the combination of your duo. As your player levels increases, the number of challengers you can face and the matches you can partake will also increase. You can use invitation bar to send invitation to rest your challengers and partake in matches. Should you prevail in these matches, you can also earn corresponding character and talent cards. Whoa. Wait, so that's for... Is that for NPCs or for actual players? Your people? This invitation board can actually... Oh, friends via call okay. engage in matchmaking. As your player level grows, you can also challenge far away strangers to do skills. Uh, spell of coins, orange, you know, matches to castle, can look coins, cards, card backs. Oh, we can change card backs and dynamic skins. What's dynamic skin? Among other items. Let me check the shop. Hey, what's up? Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, ask about your level. Oh. Best invitation letter. The place with invitation. The player will head over to the tavern and wait to go with you. <laughs> then I'm skins, what's that? Oh. Well, I have to look. Ah, oh. that's the next case. That's expensive. Wait. Uh, uh, okay. And everybody has those. Oh, we can have them as well. I thought we would. Only will have vision bearers. Uh, um, but there's still a lot of people missing. Cool. Even for those. That's just a shiny card, it isn't really. Okay. Okay, those are just shiny cards. Those are the names. The waters are just shiny cards. Uh, 
Oh, I don't use actual. Oh, cool. So I can buy those. Okay. Um, uh, cards. Huh, I have him. Collection is a metal dice. Let's go. Hmm, cool. Okay, what other things should do right now? Uh, just let's see. Ah, okay, that's the... That's what that's for. But there... Wasn't there a limited number I could buy there? Uh... Um, leisure time is to... Three chains of jacks you must... Shutdown. Okay. Hmm. What's that? <laughs> Timmy. This curtain does not appear at this time of day. Ah, okay. That's the thing. Let's beat Timmy up. <laughs> oh, and the, the quest. Uh, the quest is done, right? Yeah. Legend. Right back. Oh, um, I got that. Beginner please badge. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, like name, like design settings. Oh. Uh, Five seven turn back. Wasn't I supposed to get that for just for completing? Fiscal kills one electro, summons one boss. What does Oz do? Use one uh, editing phase, use one electro. So that's basically two electros. But then, pay attention. Does that mean he stays there for? Two more hits, or I can only use that twice. Can we press by any bonus? We can be defended against his shoots or damage. Okay. It's fine. To all opposing characters on standby. This is carried by engaging more duos. Um, use your own. Invitation board and returns in the first place of tools after each factor such tools. After the thing than that, you use will gain one point proficiency. For all other dual types, you gain only proficiency per card cards that use for the first time you achieve victory. Okay, so that that forces me to play with other players. 
I usually go for single player things, but okay. Mm -hmm. Uh Okay. Um, but there could be, uh, there may be afterwards, but with other actual skins. Okay, okay. I guess uh, I'll I'll keep this one then to get proficiency. Ah, oh, hang on. That's my proficiency with those characters. Those are two. Why two? The first one didn't count. Time to go. I'm doing spend the pages, I don't care. Ah, there's a joint challenge in duo. Ah, oh. seriously, I need level 10 to play with the kid. Uh, people think Chandra is making this boy in front of them. But in fact, he's just one of the few ace players who really rely on pure talent to truly master Chinese education TCG. Uh. Okay, the individual challenge. Ah, oh, player experience. Ah, uh, action to actually once per round. This card gains one pigeon. When the card has three pigeons, this card is card. Uh, then draw one, one card in page one. Um, uh. <laughs> Seems good. Tale of two pictures. Story goes like this. Long, long time ago, the other side, there was no other time for me to read. Ah, whatever. I can use two switch things. Yep. I want to help. Wow, that was horrible. that uh, yes, oh, I can no, I don't need to switch now for now. No, but I better. Oh. Damn. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I just attack. Yeah. 
Just charge them. Card that has been equipped to one card to shoot another. Okay, so not really that useful. But now I can use that. Enhanced animal module 75. Okay, I have to wait for it to die. Okay, I, I thought I had to play it before, and then this thing will only happen after I died. Mm. Let's go. Nothing. This will be interesting. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, that's cool. Something more to do <laughs> weekly in the game. Oh, how did I lose? Because you suck. Union kid. 
Now I need to raise levels to beat him up. All right. Guess we'll stop around here. Um, maybe. Yeah, I guess tomorrow I'll play the the other event that's going on. It's ten more hours or so. No, that's probably less now. Eight hours to go. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow I'll play that. Because there'll be a lot then. I didn't even pay attention to what this is, but those usually aren't that long. Especially if I can just start like that without any story. Good. 